Hi friends, it's Rena. I wanted to let you know that the video you are about to watch is actually over a year old. This is because I decided to do a secondary channel to follow what it was like being a mermaid mom, but all of my mermaid mom content went really popular on my main channel. So I've decided to merge these channels back together. Some of the things you are gonna watch may be slightly out of date, but also an interesting time capsule. I just really wanted to have all of the content back in one place. Thanks again for supporting me and I hope you enjoy the video. <laughs> it's a snow day. It's a Thursday. We are hanging out in our jammies, getting ready, packing for our trip tomorrow. Mr. here is teething. He's got two bottom teeth. Yeah. This is going to be our first trip with River and our first away gig. So we had that Christmas one when he was a few months old and now he's six and a half months old and we're going to another province. So it's a five hour road trip. He's, he's contributing as you can hear. Uh, it's winter so we have to be careful and at a hotel a really nice one that we've done bookings with before and we have to bring so much stuff we're gonna be arriving Friday night and working Saturday Sunday Monday and then leaving for five hour drive home Monday after the booking so we need everything that he needs everything that we need and everything that we need for mermaid stuff yeah, so I'm just going to show you a few of the things that I have and as I'm packing throughout the day and cleaning, I'm going to be doing that. We also have Mermaid Emma is going to come check on our kitties while we're away, make sure they're fed and everything, so that's going to be good. Yeah, are you excited for your first trip, buddy? Yeah, you got a foot. You got a foot. <sighs> okay, so... I have so much stuff that I need to take. I don't even have it all here, but I thought I would show you some of the highlights both mermaid stuff and baby stuff. So new eye gel because I find that hotel pools often have really strong chlorine and the pools aren't maintained as frequently as a public pool would be. So last time I went, I got a piece of glitter in my eye, a piece of biodegradable glitter that started biodegrading in my eye and it was brutal. So I'm definitely making sure I've got enough eye gel this time. For my skin, the chlorine, because I'm going to be in it so much for those three days, I got a couple different face masks here to try to help my skin. Otherwise, I find I'll break out because my skin will try to produce more oil to compensate for the dryness of the chlorine. So we have a deep cleansing one to pull the chlorine out. We have a nourishing one to put the good stuff back in. And we also have a hydrating one to deal with the dry skin. I've got some three-in-one facial cleansing wipes. I usually have to put oil on the underwater makeup and let it sit, and then I can use a wipe to get it off, and I find it a lot easier than face cloths. I try not to use them too much to be environmentally friendly. I mean, they do eventually break down. They're just really durable paper, but still, like a face cloth, a good old face cloth is, is better. For Mr. Mr. here, I'm putting together a little pharmacy bag that's gonna have some stuff in it that we need. So we have some Camilla, which is an all-natural teething solution for him that also makes him poop like crazy doesn't it <laughs> he has this very snotty nose so we have a little snot sucker we have a couple different types of those we have some all natural teething gel you can't use any of the numbing stuff anymore it's not fda approved right buddy but this this is just cooling stuff We've got some infant Motrin if he gets some bad inflammation from his teeth. Or we have Tylenol, which is better for if he has a fever from his teeth. His cheeks are looking really good in this video, but for the past few days, he's had huge red cheeks from teething. Obviously, we're gonna pack tons of wipes and diapers and his clothing. We're gonna have some good lotion for both of us because the chlorine is gonna be hard on the skin. Masks, so we're gonna double up with a three-ply face mask and a mermaid themed one to go over top so like this mer taylor sold me a bunch and so i have some that match all my different tails and outfits a carrier for riv that we can wear and put him in and carry him around while we're there we're also going to be visiting an aquarium 
it's really cold though it's not something i can get in and plus our laws here in nova scotia and well actually in all of canada are different but i'm going to be visiting the aquarium and meeting their seal you're going to be with me you see the seal, seal yeah it's going to be nice we're going to bring books for you because you like books yeah you really like your tactile books right now we're going to bring some toys for you we're going to bring some teeters Peter. Obviously, changes of clothes for mom and dad, tails, soothers. Daddy wants to bring the jolly jumper so that he can jump in things. We're gonna need some baby blankets. So for now, while we're gathering stuff, I'm just gonna put things in a bin, and then Sean and I are gonna organize for packing the vehicle. So there's a lot of stuff that's gotta go. This we're borrowing from a friend of mine. It's a bumbo chair. Friends of mine who have traveled before said we should bring some extra baby blankets so we can put them down on the floor. He can crawl and stuff. Or in case we need to wrap them up after the pool or put things in the car. So anyway, we've got those. We've got a package of little swimmer diapers. I do have some reusable diapers, but he grew out of them really fast. I have a little robe for him so that when he gets out of the pool, I can just wrap him up in this little robe. We have the otteroo so he can swim in the pool too. We have a pair of little neoprene booties to keep his feet warm. This was from Marrow Atlas and I love it. It's a little jumper fleece keep him extra warm. We have his wetsuit. <laughs> Mommy always brings a waterproof bag that Dakota gave me and it's got stuff in it for him. We've got some baby shampoo. We've got changes of diapers. We've got swimmer diapers. We've got another wet bag in there. So we'll take that. Different pairs of goggles. And I'm gonna put these booties aside for daddy. We're gonna try and find daddy's booties changing mat. This is my Mer Taylor bag that I put a bunch of stuff in. We've got some circlets, we've got some goggles, we've got some headdresses, earrings, earplugs because mommy needs earplugs, sinus saver, there's a granola bar, there's some bum cream for you, another teether for him, so we have enough of those things. My crown, I'm worried it broke because something heavy got put on it. So my Aussie Mara crown, but I am gonna take it and we'll just be really gentle with it. I'll make sure it's on the top of things. A sweater for Mr. Mr. here. Yeah. It's been a couple of hours. I'm still in my pajamas. River's down for a nap right now. I've been trying to track down all the stuff I need for this gig. It's snowstorming out. One of the challenges we have with this gig is that the hotel rooms do not have a fridge or sink or anything like that. So we cannot store perishable food items or things that need to keep cold there. So that's going to be a challenge. We did charge them a per diem to cover our food every day, but nobody really wants to eat fast food every day. I was hoping we could just buy groceries or something, but these are some noise canceling headphones we got for River because some of the events are going to be loud music. There's a DJ for the kids for him falling asleep in the car. And because we're sharing a hotel room, there's not enough space for playpen and a lot of people put the playpen in the bathroom but the bathrooms at this hotel are really small this is an old 100 year old or more hotel and it burned down and then got rebuilt and so these are really old timey structures even though it's been modernized so there's just not a whole lot of space right so river and i are sharing a bed that, that's where the noise canceling headphones are going to come in handy there we go this is a noise machine and so we've got on one end the noise canceling headphones, but on the other, this also helps soothe them. And for babies, it kind of reminds them of the womb. So that's why you always hear people go, shh. It's not because a baby understands it and thinks that they need to be quiet. It's because it sounds like the womb and it calms them down. We have got color safe shampoo for me, although I am fully expecting my hair color by the end of this to come out and having to redo it when I come home, but I want to still protect my hair and this stuff is good for dealing with chlorine. And Sean and I are preemptively bringing some rapid tests. Now they're not super accurate for Omicron, but I mean, it's better than nothing. And I just want to be as prepared as I can possibly be. I'm not looking for any debates here about the pandemic or COVID. I'm a, I have immune issues. I have a new baby. I'm going to do what I need to do to make myself feel safe, all right? 
So we've got two of these and our government gives them out for free. So that's great. This is my mermaid and mom crown. Got that. This is body glide that I put on my feet to prevent blisters in the fins. So that should help. I'm going to be doing a land mermaid costume and walking around to meet the kids. And I like to wear a cape for that. Just kind of adds another little layer of whimsy. I've got a whole bunch of different wigs I'm going to pack. None of them are organized. I'm going to clean them up when I get there. Um, this was a white one that I've got that I think might look really good with my killer whale tail. Kind of give me a different look. And now that I've got this pink hair that's short, I think I should be able to get the wig to fit better. It's got a circlet already on. Pain meds. Allergy meds, because ever since I've had a baby, I'm finding I'm having allergic reactions to chlorine. I get hives and itchy and watery eyes and nose, so I want to have Benadryl so I can survive. These are some pants that I tested out for fancy fish fashions, and they're fin fun with uh, silicone fins on the side. So I'm going to wear them as my land mermaid costume, and I think it'll be really cool for the kids because they can touch the fins. The tails I'm going to bring is my monarch one because it's super comfy the top fits me and i have a cape for it so i'm gonna do that with a red wig and an ikea bag because they're nice and waterproof i can put all my wet stuff in it when i get out of the pool this is a bag of tons and tons of postcards. I give the postcards out to kids. I've talked about this on my Patreon, on my Facebook, and on YouTube. They love it. It's better than a business card. You can sign it, they can keep it, and on the back it's got all my business information, right? So I give those out. I have tons of different ones here. Here's one of me there. There's one of my team. There's some of me in here when I was pregnant. All kinds of goodies. I get them from Vistaprint and I wait until there's a discount code available and I do that. This is my cape for my Monarch one. Again, I just like to be a bit extra. These kids have not gotten to do things in two years because of the pandemic, so we're going big, okay? Olaplex to keep my hair protected. So after I swim, I'm going to use my color safe shampoo. I'm going to put the Olaplex mask on and hopefully I'm not going to ruin my hair in the, these hotel pools are so bad for being overshocked. So as far as feeding the baby goes, I breastfeed and that should be fine. But there are times where River's either not hungry because his teeth hurt or things don't line up because I'm going to be in the pool and I might have to express some breast milk. I'm really good at um, using a haka and I can show you how this works without taking my clothes off. So don't worry. I'm just going to turn this so you can see. So a haka is just a little silicone container that can help catch breast milk and what you do is you roll it down like this, give it a squeeze, it covers the nipple, you unfurl it like this and then you would let it go and, and it would stay suctioned to your actual skin and then it would collect milk. And then I take it off when I'm done with it. I have a little baggie, I can label, I can pour the milk in. Milk is good at room temperature for about three or four hours if everything is sanitized properly. If not, I can put it in my freezer bag and keep swapping out the ice to keep it cold. Then I can put it into a little bottle for River and he can have it that way. Um, also, if I just end up overproducing milk while we're there, I can collect it and bring it home to use later. So I'm going to wear my lionfish tail because I have a top that will fit it comfortably. A lot of my tops don't fit me anymore because I went from a B cup to almost a double D since having a baby. And it doesn't look like it really, but you have to just consider that my breast size changes because I'm breastfeeding. So sometimes it's really big and these are comfortable and they keep me warm. And if I need to feed River, let's say I, I just get out of the gig and he's starving, we go into the room and I can just pull it down and feed him. It's an easy top to get in and out of. Thank you to Candy for that. I also have my gorgeous Amethia top, which fits me. I had this done while I was pregnant. It's gonna fit with my butterfly tail. I love it. So for my killer whale tail, I've got this top that I made from lingerie. It's just really comfortable and practical and I'll 
you know, wear a cape or something with it so there's more to it. But I just need something easy access for River. I have some wigs that are kind of run down and this is because when I use wigs in the water, I'm not worried about them being perfect because they're going to get ruined in the water anyway. And they look good in the water even if they're super messy on land. Now I will do a bit of detangling and styling to them, but you don't have to go overboard. I usually keep one wig pristine for dry stuff and then my rest are just whatever for the water because there's just no sense in constantly doing it. Liquid Band-Aid. Again, blisters, you need something that's gonna be waterproof while you're in the pool, not a gross little band-aid that's gonna keep peeling off. Also really good for the baby. This one is a non-stinging one, so really good for the baby. So I will get some photos in these to do some promotional work. I also have River's Tails. Aren't they cute? I've got some headdresses and I had Nova fix these for me but she actually I should have clarified to her but she put the clips on backwards so they're a bit tricky to get on because the clips go the wrong direction so I haven't been using them that much I've got to get them pulled off and redone but I do have some I just like them because when you put them on top of a really messy wig then all of a sudden the wig looks great right okay I've got a few more things left that need to be packed, and by a few I mean a lot. Uh, the stroller and the seat for the stroller is by the door, so I'm not going to show that. I'm going to take the orca tail. I'm going to do a whole orca look. So that's there. I'm going to take this, I'm probably going to keep it in the back seat with me. It is a breastfeeding pillow. It just comes in handy for so many things. I find that my shoulders droop a lot and then I get bad neck pain so if I prop them up with this it helps my shoulders a bit. It's great for the baby for helping him sit up. It's great for using as a neck pillow. It's just multi-purpose. We've got Sean's kicks here. Not sure if he's going to get in the water or not because we really don't know what we're doing for childcare. We have a friend there. We have a helper there. I don't know if Sean and I are going to get to do anything by ourselves or not but we're trying to be prepared for everything. I've got my three because I'm wearing two different tails that fit the three. So there's my three. I've got a little mermaid onesie that I can throw on to get out of the pool, keep warm. I've got some of my slip-in pants. These are the sand pants. They're wide and extra comfy. And these are slip-ins leggings, the abalone ones. I never have enough leggings. And the third and final tail I'm bringing is my lionfish tail who has seen better days. I lend my stuff out to my team and it just gets worn out faster than if it was only me using it. So um, things, it's a bit worn out, but kids don't notice this stuff. So taking that and then I always bring a backup. So you saw that I had more tops than I needed. So I'm bringing one extra tail just in case something goes wrong. You know, maybe a zipper breaks, maybe a bad stain happens. God forbid there's a tear. I've had some, experiences where I was on film for the news and the waist of my silicone tail broke right in the middle and I had to take a kid's tail and tie it around my waist to cover the rip so that I could keep doing it. So back up copper mitt just in case. We are taking the baby monitor, the baby's nightlight, the jolly jumper, and we're taking the wheelchair and if we can fit it we're going to take a sign. So this is a lot of stuff. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff. What am I going to do if I go to California Mermaid Con and I have to pack so much stuff? <sighs> have you ever taken a baby on an airplane? A six month old? He'll be eight months old by then, close to nine months old. I am terrified. Give me your advice in the comments. Here is a quick little look at the weather. It's storming out. Lots of snow. That is a lot of snow on our deck. <laughs> 